We're like a quarter way done with corn harvest, and I'm super excited. There's a lot of things to be excited about, but we're getting a new shed on the farm. This was kind of a cold storage shed, and this is our shop, but the new shed will kind of be, it'll kind of be a shop. It's going to be a really nice shed, and it's about this size. I'll kind of show you it. Also, thank you so much. By the time this is posted, we are really close to 500,000 subscribers. So if you guys aren't subscribed, I'd, it'd be awesome. I'd be so happy if you subscribed. Uh, so thank you so much for everybody who's subscribed. We're going to have a giveaway coming. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a PC giveaway. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain it's going to be a PC giveaway. I'll kind of, I'll keep you guys updated on what it's going to be. Sorry, I just tabbed over there just to make sure my desktop audio was working. Yeah, you'll, anyways. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a PC giveaway. I'll let you guys know. Somewhere around $600,000 PC, probably, is what I'm going to do. I got to do a PC giveaway. It's just like, I got to. I got to. So, that's what we're going to do, and I'll keep you guys updated on that, though. Let's sell this shed. Now, okay, I got a new tractor coming, too. Uh, it's a 1994 Cat 75C 294 horse. We'll cut, We'll round it up, call it a 300 horse tractor, and maybe a cultivator. Um, this is kind of, it's kind of a test, kind of, to see if you guys like it. We're going to test out in the field mainly is what we're going to do uh, because right now for power, I only have an 8R. That's it. And so I was going to start cultivating, but then we don't have anything to run the grain cart. So I'm going to leave the 8R on the grain cart and buy a new track tractor. This is an old, this is like, this is like one of Kat's first, you know, real agriculture track tractors. I think uh, it's a 94. There might've been a couple before this, but uh, these are some of the oldest cats you see around. It'll be fun to, it'll be fun to pick up. So First of all, let's get all this equipment out of the shed and put in our new shed before we go buy our new tractor. So I'm going to get the 6M out. Dude, we're still like slowly adding equipment, just so you guys know. All we have, 6M, combine, 8R, truck, some trailers, some implements, and that's it. We like, and look how big our farm is. Like you would think we'd have a lot more. So we're going to get, we're going to get more equipment as we go. It's going to be kind of fun as we start buying equipment. I gotta admit, buying equipment's the funnest part about this. Um, I need to focus more on spraying and taking care of my crops and harvesting and all the field work that goes along with it. It's just, I'm telling you, when you when you put a new like combine in the thumbnail and stuff, everybody gets excited and loves it and stuff. Uh, I need to, I do need to focus more on the field work and stuff though too. So that's what we're gonna work on eventually. It's one thing that's kind of bad about me. I just like, I'm just like all about the equipment in farming. I just, I'm a big equipment fan. Just like anything. Lawnmowers, tractors, you know, trucks, whatever it is. I'm a big fan. So, we're going to hook up to the cultivator and pull her out of here. Now, the 6M should be able to, yeah. We'll be able to do this. I need that car wash. Do you guys remember the car wash I got rolling Rolling Customs? I need that thing. I need to get it out of here. I need to get it out here for some of our uh, equipment. Okay, for now, I'm just going to line up all of our equipment just back here. So we have this, this case cultivator, right? It's kind of small and it would probably go really good on the cat. But there's also, what cultivator is it? Let me show you guys this. I'm thinking about getting it. And I actually have to, long story kind of about it, but I actually have to do a, a fundraising stream that I keep not doing, I guess. I need to do it. And like part of it was if I do the fundraising stream, eventually once they hit a certain amount of money, they're going to release this cultivator, something like that. And it was for a really good cause, uh, St. Jude's Hospital. They were trying to run it for two minutes. So we're going to do that pretty soon here too. I got to figure out where that, when that ends though. Cultivators, cultivators, here we go. So it's the Salford. I don't know. I don't know my cultivator, cultivators or implements that good. I'm assuming this is a really good cultivator. Farmer Nick was pretty hyped up about it. It requires 500 horse though, and I do not have 500 horse. I do want to get it though. <laughs> Wait, how, how big is it? It is, these are all mods. Most of the mod links, I'm trying to put them down in the description more. I'm just, that's kind of Owen's job right now is to find the mod links and put them down in the description after I post a video. So a couple hours after the mod link should be there. Okay, 500, uh, 12.5. Okay, this is 10. So it's not much difference uh, besides this does have the, uh, what, the little, Oh, what's the term? What's the term? The thing on the back that kind of tills it up. Roller baskets, I guess, in the back. It's a little beefier cultivator, it looks like. So, we're going to put the case back here. I don't really need two cultivators. Kind of want one, though. Might as well, since we're going to drive the cat back. I was thinking about hauling it. There we go. We'll let that sit there. Pull around with the 6M and then go grab the... Uh, go grab the uh, draper. Now... 
I need to do some type of video for 500k thank you. It's not just this video thank you. It'll probably be coming out in the next couple of days. But still, thank you guys so much. I just can't believe it. Before FS19 came out, we were at like 420,000 subscribers. And I don't want to talk about this forever because it probably annoys some people. Like, just move on with it, dude. It's just a number. I, I, I totally understand that. So, again, thank you guys so much. Okay, 6M is going to go back here, and Draper's actually going to go back here. I could put... We'll leave the 6M out. Um, I need to use my controller, because the 6M... I, I'm just not going to keep it back in the shop. We'll just... We'll keep it out here for a little bit. And then i got to finish Corn Harvest with that STS yet, too. Uh, okay, it's going to be a little tough backing this up. I'm going to try to do it, though. I'm going to try to back this header card up. Here we go. It's tough because the rear wheels turn on this too. And that's what... There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Smooth, smooth. Not too far, not too far. Okay, yeah, we're in the tree. Let me just uh, drop her here. Perfect. Do we have any other implements in there? I think we're pretty much... Pretty much good. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to back her up over here. There we go. 6M is going back here. We'll drop her down. Nice. Right there. Perfect. Time to sell this baby. Oh, maybe I should... Okay, let me sell the power washer around it real quick too. Power washer. Where is this thing? You guys hear my clicking? You probably can. Kind of. This mouse is pretty darn loud. Uh, I want to sell this one. Perfect. So this one now, it's going to be, I'm, I'll, I'll probably have to use a landscape tool a little bit after I sell the shed. We'll go gr garage. Where's my, sh oh, there's my house. I do not want to sell that thing. Here's my shed, $17,000. And I also took money out. So we're at $616,000. We had like 3 million. What dude in his right mind would just clear out his money and go to 600,000 from 3 million? I know, but I wanted to stay a little more realistic. Half a million dollars is still a ton of money to be holding cash for uh, for a farmer even. So we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to, it's not in sheds. I thought for sure this shed would be in sheds, but it's in miscellaneous. I was surprised. Outlaw Gaming looks like I made it. It's a $30,000 shed. It does have fuel too, and that's what I really needed. So, oh, this thing, like I said, it's a different color. It's pretty neat inside. Let me rotate around to see what we all have for these shops, for these doors. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Dude, <laughs> this is a lot bigger. It's got parking spots on it. Okay, so this is the backside. Ooh, maybe I should have tested to see how big it was before I started. This has parking spots on it? Oh my gosh. It's not going to fit out here. Unless. Okay, it collides with an object. It's probably colliding with our tree. Oh, this was a bad idea. Why did I. Ah, we may have to tear down some trees. Let me move. It could be colliding with. Uh, we're not going to have much of a lot out here anymore. Because this shed is huge. If I can get it placed down. But I'm going to drop the semi here. Hook onto the Mac. And then move this out of the way. Okay, so I think it's colliding with these trees back here. That means we'd have to clear out four trees. Do I have my skid loader with the stump grinder? Darn it. I really want to get this building in here, but it's totally colliding with these. And I'd have to get a skid loader back here. Uh, could put it out in this field too. What if I left this open? I don't know. What could I put here though? I feel like the shed would really go good here if I put, if I was able to put it here. It's still going to be a tight fit even when I clear these trees out here. But if I can get a skid loader or I could get a tractor stump grinder, that might not be a bad idea too. I think I'm going to just start cutting these down and we're going to get going. I, I want to get this in here. Um, we also got to get the cat here too. I really want to get the shed in and we need to get working on it. So I'm about to steal the MS-261. I think we have a steel MX-243. I don't know if that's even a model. I think it's something like that. Okay, I need that skid loader in here yet. Yeah, too bad we'd have a log grapple because it could pull these trees out a little better.
But I'm going to start dropping all these quick. And then we got to come back, grind the stumps yet, and we'll see if this works. It's just clearing out a little more space. Timbo, she's coming down. Clear out of these. It kind of, it was really peaceful and nice through here. I hope I don't have to take out another row of trees though. That would be bad. She's coming down, boys. Oh, no, she's stuck. There she goes. I need... I might not... I might just be able to go back and grab that skid loader stump grinder. Or a tractor stump grinder. Instead of buying a skid loader. So we have a tractor. I don't really need a skid loader too bad. I gotta clear these out though. At the same time. I might grab that uh, that log fork. Yeah. I might, I might grab this. I also... I also want to grab the Cat 75C on our way there too. Let's see. Say, could I go take the semi? Think about this. I go take the semi. I load up our new cat, and I I fit a uh, a stump grinder, tractor stump grinder in the back, and I fit uh, a tractor grapple loader, grapple uh, claw, I guess, for the front of the tractor loader. Let's do it. That's the goal here. I'm gonna try bringing those back instead of yeah. We'll bring them back here. So I will see you guys once we get to the shop and once we start getting loaded up over there. But first, we have to feed Charlie. Charlie, get over here, boy. Your food, where's he at? There you come. Oh, Charlie, man, come on, your food. Oh, okay, he's kind of glitching up a little bit. There he goes. Grab his tennis ball. Chuck it under the truck. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Charlie, you ready? Oh, come on, Charlie. He, okay, so I think he has to be following me. And then we can grab Charlie's ball and throw him. Oh, oh, holy crap, you scared me, Charlie. There we go. Go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what the? Okay, there he goes. Now he's returning it. Oh, and he dropped it off by, for me. Thanks, Charlie. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go get her. Oh, what the? I think I, if I toss it like too far or something, he won't go get it. That's on the road. There we go. Oh, he's quick. <laughs> what the heck, dude? How does he do it so quick? Toss it further on the road. Come on, man. Yeah, go get that. Okay. See, eventually, after a couple times, he won't go get it. Anyway, oh, there he goes. Get her, Charlie. Perfect. He'll pick it up, and eventually, he should bring it back to me. Uh, there he goes. I love this. It, I think before the first patch, he wasn't able to do it. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we gotta send him home now. Oh. Oh, he's, he's doing like more animations. I gotta tell him to go home so we can take the semi. He doesn't follow me and get ran over. Perfect. Let's get going. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, I got my 40 foot. I got my... Oh, shoot. We do have the skid loader still. I totally forgot about that. We have the skid loader here. I haven't even transferred... I haven't even transported some of this equipment back yet, but we do have our cat there. It's an old 94. So when I bought it, it said it had 325 horse. When I looked it up on the internet, seriously looked it up on the internet, I think it was 294 or something like that. So we'll see, we'll see what all kind of happens. Let's uh, drop her down, pull up over here, and then we'll leave the Mac running. Now what I'm going to try to do, this might be, this might be overkill. Does it have a three point? I doubt it. It does. It, it does have a three, two point, three point. That's somewhat of a three point. It's a little... It's different. It's different in the back. It kind of has a three point on it. I'm gonna hop in here. I don't think. Th oh shoot! There's not much animation to these things. It is kind of neat though. Okay, the interior is not. We'll see if we keep this, guys. But first, I'm gonna pull around here. It's kind of cool to get a cat. Now this is a cat challenger though. Kind of neat. I can actually call it cat this time. Well, I'm gonna connect to her. This is a little overkill, and the interior isn't fully done on this but I remember reading the description and the guy said he used an FS17 and then he kind of updated it even a little more once FS19 came. Now I might actually use this to grind stumps. <laughs> Why not? I guess. Let me pull this back here. Oh is the stump grinder going to hit? I don't think it is. I want to make sure we have enough. I need room for that uh, log fork over there. Now, guys, so actually, you know what? I have a forklift. I was going to say the only way to load this is by hand, but we have a forklift, so this will work good. As long as, actually, I don't know if I'll be able to pick this up. It's 
This might be kind of tough to pick up. I doubt I can stick my fork through the hole. Actually, you know what? I can stick it through this. Shoot, let me go around the other way. But I can stick it through that, like, middle grapple, I bet. I can grab this thing. Because there's no way in real life you could actually just lift this thing. I was about to do it. Lift it with, like, you know, by hand. Let me pull this around here. Oh, shoot. Let's go to the right a little bit. Ah, can I not fit it through there? Maybe I'm off a little bit. Right? Right there. Oh, yes. It works. Okay, perfect. That's what I was wanting. Yes, there we go. Let me tip this back. Oh, oh. Darn it. This might be a little... Can we can we scoop up, scoop under it? I'd love to load this with the forklift. Come on. Woo! I don't know if this is going to stay, guys. I don't know if this is going to work. It's Okay, it's staying. It's staying right now. Let me slowly pull around here. All I need to do... Get this on the trailer. I'm kind of going not slow. I'm going like five mile an hour. This is kind of fast. There we go. Forklift's working. I love actually using the forklift. Instead of loading stuff by hand, it's kind of fun using. All I'm going to do is just shove it right in the front of here. Okay, I doubt I can take my forklift up there. Don't fall off. There we go. So now what I'll do... I know it's kind of on real oddly and stuff, and I don't probably have it tipped the right way. But I'm just going to kind of slide this baby on with the forklift as far back as possible. There we go. And now I'll stick my fork up to it and keep pushing it down the middle. As long as I'm lined up. There we go. Okay, it's stuck. I just got to leave it there. Now, hopefully this thing does not come off when we're driving. I, I just got to go slow, I guess. We got the cat loaded up. Cat's going to be our uh, tillage tractor. This is an old piece of equipment, man. This is old. 1994, I think, was the year. Okay, we'll head back. Go to the Mac. And uh, load her up. Connect her right there. Perfect. I was back at my... Uh, we'll get hauling. I was back at my grandma's the other day. and uh, Or actually, yesterday. Spent all day up there in uh, northwest Iowa. And... Uh, you know, my grandpa farmed and stuff, and my, my uncle's still farm and stuff. And I was looking at, like, a lot of the pictures and stuff, which was cool kind of looking back. Uh, I wasn't sure exactly what model combine they had. They have a 95, they have a 9650 STS. And then I do remember they had a 9400 four-wheel drive tractor. Uh, in the spring, they put triples on it and stuff. And I think my grandpa bought it around 2001. It could have been, it was either late 2000, late, uh late 90s or early 2000s i don't know exactly what model it is uh but he bought the biggest he went out and bought a brand new uh the biggest john deere tractor made back then 90 john deere 9400 uh four-wheel drive you know that's pretty sweet and they still have it today uh and i think i think they'll have it for a while i bet they'll keep it around forever but it's kind of neat seeing that okay oh shoot i thought at first we lost our uh our log grapple there we're good, but it was kind of neat going back and looking at that, and like they keep their equipment in really good uh, condition. So this spring, I should try to go. Uh, I should try to go. Uh, uh, go up to uh, my uncles and stuff when they're doing field work and stuff. That'd be pretty neat. Jump in the tractor with them and stuff. Okay, we're gonna take a lift and pull in here. Drop the cat. Cat off. Okay, the cat's good. Cat's first job is gonna be grind stumps. I think we'll see if we keep this, guys. The interior is not the best on this mod, but it's still kind of a neat, fun tractor. Different tractor to use. It's not deer, so for you non-deer fans, it's probably probably pretty nice. Oh shoot, should have swung a little wider there. We're good though. And now there's corn and bean textures, and I was kind of watching the the installation. I don't. I didn't have much time. I knew it was going to take like 10 minutes or so, and I didn't have much time, so I didn't get them uh, installed yet. But they look sweet, and I'm going to get them installed probably for next farming video, which will be awesome having those. Corn and bean textures, because the corn and bean textures right now aren't the, aren't the best, let's be honest. Pulling air, swing wide with the Mac, and then I'm going to get this baby unloaded. And I really want to get this new shed up. Hopefully we can get it up by the end of the video. We're not even doing really any farming today. 
Even though this is all part of farming, right? Transporting equipment, everything like that. Okay. We're gonna back her up. Like, yeah, sometimes. Oh, shoot. Actually, no, we need to unattach this. But sometimes people will be like, come on, squad, you're not even farming, man. Well, oh, shoot. We're spinning. But, anyways, farmers. Farmer's day is all sorts of different things. Hauling equipment, hauling livestock, grabbing bales. You know, they're not even in the field that much. Of the, what, what percent of the year are they even in the field? They're always doing other stuff. Paperwork, shed, working on equipment, stuff like that, you know? Okay, we need to get... Okay, so now what I can do is drop the bucket on the 6M. Let me shut this off quick. Drop the bucket on the 6M, connect to the fork, and then... Uh, and then we can pull the cat out after that. Bucket of the six M's. Pro I'm, I'm probably going to just take it, put it back in the shed or just on the outside of the shed over here. I'd love to get a six R. Trade the six M for a six R. There we go. We'll back up. I don't know how this log fork's going to work. Uh, so it's upside down right now. I've seen some weird stuff happen in farm sim when I attach it implements upside down. Maybe I should try to kind of... We'll see what happens. <laughs> this could be crazy, to be honest. I've seen some weird stuff happen. Let's see if we can... Okay, we can attach. Okay, it's good. It's good. I figured it would kind of work like that. So now... Before I even get that cat off, let's start dragging some of these logs out. I could easily drag them by hand, but I want to drag them with the tractor, actually. Okay, so I have no idea how to even open that with controller, so I just switched to my mouse. <laughs> Dude, 6M, man, you got her. Oh my gosh, we need weights on her. This is going to get a little crazy, boys. I need to switch it, rotate it around so I can at least grab it with a claw. There we go. <laughs> I should probably be chopping it up into more pieces. I'm going to see if I can drag this out. I don't know where we're even going to drag it. Like out to the field? Get underneath her. Come on, claw. Close down on it. I wish we could kind of get her locked in a little better. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. This, I, I need to chop this tree up into more pieces. Oh, darn it. We hit the stump with it. Sorry, I am all over the place right now. I need, yeah, I'm going to have to chop it up into more pieces. Okay, so I cut off some of the little pieces. And I got these two moved over here. You guys are going to be like, oh, squad, how'd you do it? You use a lift anything mod? Maybe. Or maybe we use the tractor. But for this, I'm going to drag this last one uh, with the tractor, of course, like, like, I, like I dragged the other ones. And... We're going to pull up here, open her up, and see what the 6M could do. Now, when I was moving trees, like one of my first live streams on FS19, I was move, I was pushing some trees with the skid loader. The skid loader couldn't do it. I came in with the 6M or 6R. I think it might have been 6R. 6R just pushed it away um, with a lot more power than the skid loader could ever do. So, we'll see what this can do now. This might be still be too big to where I can't, I can't get it, I guess. I can't grab onto her even. Oh, my God. Dude, <laughs> okay, I'm going to get down because this is so unrealistic right now. I need to get out of here. I, my tractor's stuck in here. I got a branch behind me that I cannot. Oh, my gosh. Dude, tractor wheelies don't tip. Oh, dude, oh, my gosh. This is like a little show we're putting on here, boys. Okay, I got to, let's just push this. How about instead of trying to grab it, let's just push it. Come on, we need duels. You can see she's front wheel assist. Front wheels are spinning right now. Push. I kind of like lifting it up a little bit. Oh, okay, now it's caving in behind me. Let's, uh. You know what? Let's put a big plow on the cat. Push her with the cat. I'm telling you, chains. We need chains. Just tie a rope. Like, imagine like a three point chain thing where you could, like, have a little three point mod or whatever. And then it has a chain where you can go attach to things. You can pull it with a tractor. Or you can attach the chain to another tractor when it's stuck. Be sweet. Towards the FS19, we got something like that. Where if there was like a log down uh, on the back of a dozer, there was a thing where you could go attach a, a cable to it and pull it out. Pull like a log out. Right now, dude, this is... 
This is just crazy. Oh, come on. I wanted to get tilling with the Cat 75C. I wanted to get cultivating with it. But uh, we're going to be grinding stumps today with it, I think, on the farm. I still need to get chickens, and my horses still need fed. So I got my bales on my trailer with the Duramax. Oh, shoot. But now, we're going to be moving. We're going to be. Okay. We're going to pull this header trailer around out here. Quick. It's tough handling some of these big trees. Ooh, that was a close one. So we're going to pull around here with the 6M, pull the header trailer just all the way back here, around here. So this is where we will unload back here, and then you'll... Oh, this needs a little work yet. It's a little rough, especially when we're pulling the semi around here. My header trailer. We'll see if we can't just kind of swing around here. Park it right here for now. There we go. So this tree, we'll see if we can push it. To be honest, I'm pushing the tree right now. I don't know if it's the body of the 6M pushing it or if it's actually the loader pushing it. I have no idea. It's a good thing we got a hood guard though. Okay. We're stuck. Oh wait, that's because there's another tree there. Oh man, this is... This has been a lot of work, actually. I need to cut that tree up, and we need to get her out there. But for now, let's get those stumps. i got to figure out what I'm going to do with those trees, even. I have no idea how that's going to work out. For now, 6M's going over here. Let's get the stump grinder. I know it's crazy overkill having this cat with the stump grinder, but it looks pretty darn sweet. And it's a good, it's a good first tester. Oh, that's kind of cool seeing those tracks. We'll do 26 mile an hour, it looks like. Pull her around here. Start growing these stumps. A little tree work around the farm today. I'll lift her up and then uh, turn this baby on. <laughs> you can hear that. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can hear the tractor idle up a ton when you turn the PTO on. It's neat. Let me put this. Oh. kind of neat if this if the stump would grind that'd be kind of neat too oh my gosh come on man grind her up there there we go wow okay this is gonna take a while there we go finally so watch my turning it off it's it's rolling a good amount of coal you see a lot of exhaust coming out when i turn it off it idles down a little more it's still rolling cold though that's kind of neat we got uh Two more. I may have to get one of those front one, that front one up there. We'll see. I think these were the maple trees we put back here. Maybe these aren't maple. Maybe the other ones are maple. The sounds on the tractor are good. They're a tad quiet, but they're good. You can see the PTO spinning and shaking there. Oh, did we get that one? There's a, so there's this little object, this little devil here. The, I call it devil because when you cut up a tree and you're trying to place it, there's a little splint comes out of it and if you're placing a tree you can't if you're placing anything like a shed down it'll say object blocked or something it says like object in the way and that'll be your object in the way and sometimes if you're in brush it's really hard to find that object last tree here or last stump Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is working pretty good here. Oh, okay, so that's the little splint there. I just shut her down. Okay, this is kind of dangerous. She's still spinning. Better not put my hands in there. You guys want to know a crazy story? I shouldn't tell you guys this. <laughs> okay, I, I can't tell you guys that story. Never mind. Maybe another Maybe another episode. Uh, maybe another episode. That would be insane. Yeah, I probably shouldn't tell that story. Something about a PTO shaft and a guy's balls. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Anyways, we will go. Uh, cat is. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Should I tell the story? Okay. I feel like I got it. 500k special story. Um, but for now, the cat's good. Let's try placing this uh, shed down here. 
Let's go. Uh, so <laughs> miscellaneous here. Oh, please work. Please work. That was my stomach, if you could hear it. I'm super hungry. Oh, man. Okay, so the object it could be colliding with is my trailer right here. Let me move my trailer a little bit. And hopefully, this fixes it. Okay. Okay. We're in connector. And then, for now, I'm just going to put this... We'll put this all the way back here. Okay, so it's story time. Here we go. This might be a little inappropriate. But, um, well, we first... Okay, we'll see if this works. Hopefully this works. Uh, let me place this before I tell the story. Please work. There could be something out in here. Give me the green. Give me the green. Give me the green. It could be because these bins, to be honest. And there's one object in here. It's colliding. Oh, oh, I did get a green for a second there. I thought. Maybe not. I thought I got green for a second there. I just want to see where it gives me. Maybe we got to grind one more stump here yet. I'm thinking. I want to play the. So here's our green. Man, we're so close. Is it this edge? Hmm. We are really close there. Can I put it higher in the ground, maybe? I don't know if, if, if that's going to work. Can we go all the way up here? Can we fit it anywhere? Right here. I have a feeling it's... uh, see, silos. I think I'm going to have to take out these four trees yet, too, to really get this done. Let's start cutting down... Uh, I'm going to drop this tree, and then we'll slowly push back to these three trees here. I, I dislike... I love my little my little uh, like roadway here, but we'll start cutting this down. I might just have to drag this tree out into the field, guys. Okay, I may be able to push this with the tractor. It's a smaller tree, but story time. Okay, so uh, I can't I can't say any names. Bad to say names. Uh, one of my my dad's friends, we'll call him Joe Bob. Anyways, Joe Bob was on the farm, and I don't know how old he was. It, it, this actually was like in a magazine. I think his story was like in a magazine. But he was on uh, he was hooking up a he was messing some, something with a three point back here, something with implement. He had an implement running here. The PTO was spinning. The PTO shaft of an implement, let's just say it was a manure spreader. Manure spreader was hooked up, and the PTO shaft was running. Maybe he was doing some testing back here. I don't know exactly what it was. But when he went to... Let me connect something with a PTO shaft, just to show you guys. Just to implement it a little better. So PTO shaft, in case you guys don't know, is this yellow thing on the back of the tractor. So I'm going to act this out. Uh, maybe this isn't the best one to do. But... Okay, here we go. Some guys running. So, pretend this bars weren't here, but the shaft was running. And it was kind of stupid to do this, but he stepped over it. And when he stepped over it, he put one leg, he put one leg over the shaft, and the one leg was on the left side, one leg was on the right, and he was stepping over the shaft. And his pants got caught in it. And they started wrapping up in the shaft. They literally started wrapping up in the shaft, and he got his his nuts got caught in it. And he's like his, his his nuts swelled up and stuff, and he went running into the hospital. And his like his you know his nuts were swelled a ton, like just holding his his like nuts running in the hospital, and they got like pinched in there. Imagine that pain, dude. Imagine that pain. I honestly that like that's tough to think about. But they got wrapped up in the PTO when it was running and stuff. That's horrible. That's just horrible even to think about it, man. But uh, no, the guy ended up being okay and stuff like that. Um, he ended up being fine, but that, he obviously had to go to the hospital and stuff, but that is just insane. <laughs> I can't name any, any names or anything, but that's insane. Um, that was crazy. So, let's grind this stump. And actually, guys, I think I'm going to, man, I'd love to see if this works, but I think I'm going to have to take out three trees here. Most likely, I'm going to have to take out these next three trees along with this. So, for now, we're going to end this project. In next episode, maybe tomorrow morning or something like that, we're going to keep continuing this stump grinding project uh, with the beast. I think we're going to have to take out this one and then most likely these three. And we'll 
by then we should have enough room to place my brand new shed down we got to finish corn harvest yet i'm gonna try to get textures done too but this is gonna be the end i know we didn't get too much done we were kind of working with stuff i was probably talking too much but hopefully you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much again for 500,000 subscribers i can't thank you guys enough thank you so much for everybody who's subscribed um and anybody who's even watched one and maybe didn't think i was worth subscribing thank you so much just for watching even uh so thanks guys and i will see you later thanks so much guys